Morning all, I just thought I'd uh, do a short video to show the new trike I've got, or my first trike that I've got. Um, ended up getting this because I've had about three rounds of back surgery and a normal mountain bike wasn't doing it for me anymore, hurt the back too much. Um, had a bit of a look around at all the different ones available in Australia and kept coming back to this one and it's about to start raining so we'll see how we go and there's one of my dogs. Um, made me mind up on which one I thought I wanted and ended up not being able to find one in store and the rain's getting heavier so I'll try this again a bit later. Right back again in between showers of rain. So as I was saying I'd um, had back surgery, I've put on weight, I'm probably about 115 kilograms, so probably about 260 pounds. Um, so I need a bike that's fairly sturdy, that's not going to give me back problems. I'd found by searching online what I thought I wanted. Um, and there goes the dogs again. But I had trouble finding dealers that had them on the floor. Um, ended up talking to Michael from MR Components. Now, there's his web address there. I went and saw him and told him which bike I was looking at. Uh, it was interesting that he, he had different models on the floor and he let me try the one that I uh, wanted, thought I wanted, um, and then explained to him what sort of riding I was aiming at doing, and he said it probably wasn't the most suitable bike. Uh, I had a go on this one, and it was about $800 cheaper than the one I've been looking at, uh, and that was with modifications. So I'll just show you a bit of what I've got, what I've put on it. Um, we've got a Garmin 500 uh, computer, GPS, heart rate, uh, does all that. Um, needed something to keep the cars from annoying me and I found the electronic horns didn't work. So now have the air sound which sounds like a truck but it does the job and scares the dogs at the same time uh, lightweight double wall alloy rims, stainless steel spokes uh, now Michael strengthened the frame down there for my size he said I probably didn't need it but just to be sure we do that uh, Avid BB7 disc brakes. Now the headlight was a bit tricky, I needed something, a lot of the bike specific ones didn't last that long. Um, this is actually the new LED lenser with, uh, it's a headlamp actually, and you can buy a bike mount kit, and Michael and I came up with a way to mount it, and it's good because I can use it during the day like that, and the you can adjust how bright it is, or you can go to a strobe rate and you can adjust the strobe rate on it as well. Lights up probably, I don't know, 150 metres down the track at night, goes for about six hours. Um, you probably get it for about $130, uh, far better than any bike light that I've found out there. Uh, put a mount on here so I can mount a GoPro or a contour camera. And the pedals I went for the SPDs on that side, the Shimano pedals. Just a normal flat on that side. So if someone wants to ride it that hasn't got shoes with cleats, they're, they're right to go. 
and that there is the meter for the cadence on the GPS unit. We've got a water bottle holder there, bar end shifters, um, the model I got is actually a Mr. T not, and not Mr. T as in what you're doing for, it's an MR for Michael's initials and it's a T. So there's the company again, sling seat. It's actually foldable this trike, so you can uh, fit it in the car, but I have a utility so it fits in there alright. Uh, under the seat, if I'm going for a long ride, I've got the toolkit there, and that's a bag that holds a 3 litre camelback. And I can just run it up over my shoulder, so I've got 3 litres there and a litre in the bottle at the front. Um, Quick release rear axle. Uh, one thing I liked with some of the work Michael does on the non structural stuff, as in like here on the mudguard bolt, uh, it uses stainless steel. Um, now he said to me this one's built more for reliability than lightweight racing, and that's what I want because I do trying to ride some of the rail trails we've got over here uh, and so far I've done about probably 400 miles six seven hundred kilometers on it uh, and all I had to do was a minor adjustment on the derailleur so I've had absolutely no problems at all he also recommended I go for the big apple tires make the ride a bit better um, I'd like, interesting to try a full suspension bike, but it's just uh, at the time I was stretching the budget with what I had here, so maybe down the track we'll look at that. Uh, the rack came from Michael as well. Uh, I bought this Topeak bag, which is handy. Put a drink bottle in the back there, but the thing I like about it unzip this and it becomes a little set of panniers so that's not bad um, and I bought a different rear light I wanted something brighter so I could be seen and I normally leave that on day or night so it's rechargeable too like the front one so you just bring it home plug it in it's ready to go the next day um, when you're looking online at the videos, if you haven't seen them before, have a look. It's a bloke goes under the name of Dredger Clock, D-R-E-G-E-R -E Clock, his name's Glenn, he's from California. Have a look at some of his videos, he does some fantastic ones there. Um, hopefully I can do some that are half as good as those and I'll be happy, but... Uh, I'm changing wheels on it for when I'm just cruising around. Uh, they should arrive in the mail in the next few days. Uh, so hopefully I'll do some more videos for you soon. Thanks.